Hey guys, how's it going? I know I have not uploaded in a very, very long time. Kind of just got burnt out of playing Deep Woken, and uh, yeah, that's that's really going to basically sum up the lack of uploads. However, with Layer 2's release, I kind of got back into the game. As you can see, I have this really cool, like, deferred Evan Spear Hand Axe contractor build that I think is pretty sick. But while obtaining this Evan Spear Hand Axe, I actually had to find a way to get it because it's a very, very hard to get item in the game. And so I kind of like researched around, and I actually found a pretty Pretty good way to farm for it, but one of the primary ways to get it is by killing Crimson Pteropods. They're like this variant of the Pteropod in Deep Woken. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you a location where there is a guaranteed spawn of the Pteropod that is in a very safe area for you to farm. I think in my many hours of farming this Pteropod spawn, I only had players encounter me like maybe two times. So we're going to go ahead and start here on Lower Arisia. This is where you're going to want to go ahead and find the Pteropods, and we're just going to go ahead and run up the normal way that you would go to Bandit Camp. And you're just going to want to go all the way to Bandit Camp, basically. Pretty simple. Uh, here's obviously a demonstration on the screen if any of you don't know how to get through Arisia, which uh, if you're if you're that lost, then you probably shouldn't be farming for an Evan Spear hand deck. But yeah, so you're just going to want to go ahead and head on through Arisia like I'm doing here. And we're going to go ahead and approach the Bandit Camp here. And instead of going into the Bandit Camp, you don't have to. Uh, you can just go ahead and walk around it and find these stones to climb on. I slowed down the video so you guys can see where I'm at. So there's Bandit Camp right there. And then you're going to go ahead and just want to hop off this area and jump into this waterfall hole. And then that's kind of where you're gonna wanna go. And then from there, you're just gonna wanna make your way through the waterfall cave, and then you're gonna find this like legendary boot right here that is kind of an Easter egg that you can't really do anything with even if you have a bell. And then you're just going to want to go ahead and climb up. And from there, you're basically already here. You're gonna find this like giant column that has fallen over and you can just kind of climb over it. And then there's going to be the pteropod spawn right there. That is a guaranteed spawn so as long as nobody else has killed the pteropod already, it will always spawn here. This is a pretty safe location, obviously, because you kind of have to go out of your way to get to it. But basically, you just want to go ahead and kill the pteropod. And then go ahead and hop servers, and you can kill the next pteropod, and the next pteropod, and the next pteropod. Now, there is a low chance of this place spawning a crimson pteropod. It is possible I have gotten probably seven crimson pteropods so far. And if you have a loot skipper, you'll have a much higher chance of getting the Evan Spear Hand Axe as a drop from the Crimson Pteropods. But that's basically going to be the video, guys. Pretty short one. Just wanted to go ahead and put this guide out there because I know it's not super common knowledge, and I'm sure a lot of you do want that nice Evan Spear Hand Axe. It's a very good weapon. So that's going to be it. Hopefully, you go ahead and click that subscribe button for more Deep Oaken content. I have a great idea that is in the works. It's going to take a while to produce it, but I think it's going to be something that will really change the landscape of Deep Oaken YouTube as a whole. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.